Welcome guys to another SAO Racing Steel and today a lot of news dropped guys. There's been tons of to talk about so let's get right into the news. Basically, we're going to be starting off to the top to the bottom, well bottom to the top news into the game and currently we're, we have announced a ranking which will start, which will start on the 31st of October. We have higher High score ranking event begins where we are able to get reward characters only available in Ticket Scouts. The Ticket Scout winner, finally, the finally, the costume Eugeo is coming into the game, guys. The star from my dreams, Eugeo. Guys, they've made justice to the <laughs> to the voting character. It's actually not a costume; it's an actual character. I'm I'm actually so excited for this. It's very I'm. Bandai has done right guys, Bandai has done great on this and it's amazing that they've done this, it's amazing amazing. I do not understand why they've done known elemental and it kind of seems related to the Halloween one since he does have a special costume of a wizard so I did enjoy the fact that they aligned it up with the previous celebration which is Halloween. So what are we what are we looking for on this? We have featured characters, bonus characters which are star light up of the night sky Kirito. Dual blades, light, and we have the sword shining in darkness, Edis, which we will cover up right, right now. Basically, this ranking event is going to be related to Ishkan and Sheita, reconciliation and engagement now available, meaning that Ishkan and Sheita are getting married? What? That's gonna be sick, guys. That's gonna be amazing. But here we go. We have the base art of the EOGO, and we have the Max Limit Breaking art of this EOGO. And it's amazing because we, we voted him off from a contest. A fan art contest and he's getting his own unit. That's amazing guys. Yo, congratulations to every single one of you. Pat yourselves up and we're getting more UGO units and it's different as well. It's a different costume which is even it's even better guys. Even better. We have a powerful enemy also coming which the, this event is great. I believe that the time, the time of most of these events is going to be released on the 31st of October. And we're going to be able to get 50 diamond cubes and Kirito's Evolution Crystals 50 times as well. You can obviously get them through 250, uh, 250 points and a thousand point exchange from these. And the bonus characters that you will be able to use to deal more damage are Yujiro, Yuki in this, um, this event. This event mainly is going to be featuring the powerful enemy Kirito, which this is Dual Blades, pre the previous Dual Blades of Kirito, and it's Dark Elemental. So prepare your team, guys, because this is going to be tough. Usually, the these teams are tough. Now, going on to the main news, we have a lot of banners involved in this, and we have a special partner. It is now available. So, what does this mean? Character lineup. Click here. Details about Active Link. We have Active Link coming into the game, guys. Featured in this banner are Edis, 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 Edis simping banner, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I would I would have summoned in this banner if I did not have Edis, but I do. So that's not that that doesn't matter really. Uh, get your favorite characters with exchange points. They should really decrease this exchange points. It's crazy that you have to do so many summons for that. Special partner Edis exchange points light ups, but doesn't say anything about the doesn't say anything. So we're gonna be checking out. Because I do have most of these characters already. We're going to be checking out stuff real soon. So, they put up a news saying, what is Active Link? Basically, Active Link is a special command where characters co-op with characters directly from the timeline to do a simultaneous attack. Before Active Link can be activated, the following conditions need to be met. Characters turn skill slot has been unlocked. And characters turn skill slot, guys. We're getting an ability called character turn skill slot. So, Please put that in mind. We also getting the character immediately after the timeline is on the character's player side. No, there is a limit to the number of times can activate active link can be activated. Damn, they always get me with that. So we have partner bonus, elemental bonus, and weapon bonus, which increases the critical rate of these separate bonuses by 10% for both characters. So critical rate base essentially can increase to 30%, which is absolutely broken. I'm not gonna lie, that's a super special bonus. Uh, here we go, we have the Edis and the Dual Blade Kirito's doing the special partner attack showcase. And here we go guys, how to use Active Slink. We get in the slots, Active Link and special partner off the bat. There's also new, oh wow, they've added a lot of skill slot, I'm not gonna lie. They've changed stuff around and they're making it look good. So that's, that's, 
that's interesting. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna have to take a screenshot of this and show showcase this stuff on Discord. So, if you guys also do want to discuss more of this on Discord, check it out on the description below. In other news, we also do have the main banners of the game coming into this first year anniversary banner, which starts on Thursday. On the 31st of October, I called it that the anniversary is going to start on 1st of November. Nobody believed me, they thought it would be the 20th. But alright, we have the co op attack with the character. What is after Link? I already explained it, guys. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Star light up on the night sky Kirito is his great skill is a single enemy slash attack that comes with a physical resistant debuff. His assault skill deals additional damage to enemies, inflicts with a physical resistance or magic attack, magic resistance debuff. Plus, he has a skill that can raise up all party members' attack by 20% and fill up one of the step of the recollection field gauge. So basically, this Kirito uh, mainly is kind of a support unit due to the fact that his enhanced skill is a raises a, a member's attack by 20%, which is already a lot, I'm not gonna lie. He also has a leader skill. Leader skills are going to be a thing, guys. Light elemental attack by 5%, and there is a member skill as well, which increases light elemental attack by 1%, which is quite nice, I'm not gonna lie. We also do have this sword shining in the darkness, Edis. This Edis has the same leader skill and member skill, just like Kirito. So whichever you pull, it's going to be a great leader for the party. Uh, her charge skill is a single enemy slash attack that comes with a physical resistance debuff. And her assault skill deals additional damage on inflicted enemies with physical resistance or magic res resistance debuff. Her multi-heal skill fills the recollection field gauge on one step, which is decently enough, and her incarnate skill, Moonlight Righteous Cross, is a single enemy slash attack. It can lower an enemy's physical resistance and magic resistance by 20% and deal additional damage on enemies inflicted by physical resistance or magic resistance debuff. She can also deal super powerful magic, well, super powerful additional attack with her special partner, Kirito. I'm not gonna lie guys, the unit that's that mo that's most appealing to me right now, it's Edis, due to the fact that she already has an amazing incarnate slash attack on single enemy and deals already in further damage which further damage to the enemy as well as does a magic resistance debuff and lowers physical resistance so it does both by 20% for one turn which is absolutely amazing and just <laughs> they they literally put no effort into Kirito's incarnate skill due to the fact that most of it is going to go into the animation of it but they only did incarnate slash attack super strong on enemy that's it that's it they basically put like all their baskets on on look look just look at the difference of effort they've done the moonlight righteous cross they've done all that all that description on edis and then kirito is just like incarnate slash attack lower super strong one same enemy but yeah this just means that edis is gonna be absolutely mad absolutely amazing and it also portrays the the previous edis uh, lowering magic attack resistance debuff or lowering physical resistance debuff. It continues with a 20% resistance debuff, which is amazing. I like it. I like Edis is just broken, guys. It, she is going to be amazing. You guys pull her. I have 500 crystals of just Edis only ready for her. So I'm going to be summoning like crazy if I have the cubes. So I'm going to be grinding a lot of cubes today, guys. Oh, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. I have a lot of cathedral left, so I need to I need to do those. Let's see the drop rate, guys. Drop rate is going to be 4.5% for four stars. And the featured characters on this is going to be star lighting up Kirito and Edis by 1.125%. There are a lot of four stars featured in the banner. I'm not going to lie. But we do have a chance of it since it's going to be, I believe it's double rates, this banner. Like... Not double raised by 1.5. Yeah. Step 1 and 3 are 50% off. And rate up will always be 1.5 regardless of the step. So you kind of have almost a double the chance of actually pulling a 4 star. Which I do hope we get a lot of featured pulls every step we go. But anyways guys. Hopefully you guys are ready for this. Best of luck to everyone summoning under this banner. I'll definitely hope so. You pull the Edis rather than the Kirito. Obviously, people will go for the Kirito as he will have the special animation with the EUGO fight. But yeah, guys, if you guys did enjoy this news, please drop a like. Comment below what you guys think about this celebration so far. I'm sure there will be a part two later, later as the month goes by. But as always, 
Subscribe for more SAO Rising Steel content. Light Ranking Event is coming into the game, guys. And yeah, guys. Bandai just debated us again with the Edis art. Take care. Bye-bye.